No drug seems to be spreading faster on the streets of Los mm -hmm. Angeles than rock cocaine. Some say it has become an epidemic because what was once the rich person's drug is now within reach of the middle class and perhaps even the poor. Tonight... Johnny had to grow up faster than most Cause daddy was gone and mom was breaking I was sick and then close, scraping leftover food Taking care of the house, there was no time for playing Like the other kids at school Not a worry, not a clue of all the pain that he'd been through And all the things he's had to do But Johnny still blames himself Wishes he could go back to the day That his daddy walked away And say something Welcome back to another reaction of Snowfall, episode two. Before we get started, Snowfall has a lot, and I mean a lot, of copyright music. A lot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of 80s music. Very nostalgic. You know what I'm saying? That's my era. That's my era. But anyway, if you two start tripping, I'm going to move everything to Patreon, all right? If y'all want to come to Patreon and check that out, you know what I'm saying? That way I don't have to worry about all these copyrights and stuff, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but a dollar to follow me on Patreon. One dollar. I ain't tripping. One dollar. Okay. Snowfall. Man, first episode, I'm hooked. Like, first episode, I'm hooked. You got this guy named Franklin. It's, well, it's like three storylines, but Franklin, like, I think he's like the main storyline. This young kid, you know, just trying to make it. So Franklin met this old guy that's like the kingpin he gives franklin a brick and he got to bring 12 g's back all right so franklin goes to his uncle and i like him he's cool as hell i think his name is jerome he's cool as hell jerome's like don't want to have nothing to do with it you know what i'm saying he's like nah nephew I, nah not not this time you know but his aunt over here is the conversation so she takes franklin to see this queen pin that's running shit and she hooks him up, all right? So he, he gets the money, you know what I'm saying? Everything all good. And uh, he sees his pops, and his pops is like a homeless guy. It, it was like a sad ending, man, you know? Like sad. Like he's like homeless, 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 you know? And the second storyline is like this wrestler. And um, I don't know if he's like down in his luck. He looked like Pedro from Mandalorian. <laughs> like a big... Big Pedro, you know. The third storyline is uh, this uh, nerdy guy. Forgot his name. He looked like the water boy, right? So he's helping another Israeli guy, Hispanic guy, Colombian guy, drug lord. And I think he's working for the older guy as well, all right? So this it's crazy. It's crazy. Yo, we jumped into this. This is episode two of Snowfall. Love y'all. Like that bike, man? You got enough money to buy you one. Oh, <laughs> you did buy it. No more riding the bus for him. After the meeting, we have to find a new stash house. What's wrong with this one? Ah, uh, it's too understated. I'd like to find something flashier. We have two deals to make today. Weapons are arriving tomorrow. We don't have this to... isn't a discussion. We're out of here after the meeting tonight. You should have a bump. All right, look, I gotta run some errands, so wait an hour, pack up the rest, and then uh, meet me at that parking garage on Sunset. Yeah, that place late. Where are you going? 
You know what place I mean? Yellow train? One hour. You have my cash? I sent you in there to take money, not family photos. Where is it? What's so? Hmm? I'll give you the money when I feel safe. Safe from what? The kind of man who steals from his own father. Gustavo, Pedro, yeah. look at me. Stop. Let's go now. What are you doing? It's fucking threatening us. We had this conversation. I know. Yeah, so what? That's the big thing. Get me the car and We're never going to get it back yet. So just get Yeah. Think to call? Give me a heads up. Said you don't have a phone. Of course I have a phone. It's not that I don't have a phone. It's just that I don't like talking business over the phone. You know why? Who's that hollering? Someone could be listening. And then what happens? You get caught. And then what? You go to jail. No, you go to fucking prison. So I don't want you to call. I want you to do things exactly the way we said they would be done, so you don't have to call. Uh, I'm sorry, what is that? What? That noise? Strip. Alejandro here. He parties. He's legit. He makes me feel safe and warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> but then first deal. You show up, all oh, nifty and shifty, and nervous. Okay, so guys, if I'm shifty, it's because it sounds like there's somebody giving birth back there, and you're trying to get me naked at gunpoint. So I know you wear no wire in your ass crack. Listen, if it makes you feel any better, we'll all strip. And then we're gonna sit here like a bunch of faggots while you explain <laughs> why you suddenly need to be here to conduct our business. Come on! Turn around. Show me your ass. That's Show it. me your fucking ass. Oh, oh my God. God. What happened to him? Hey, what? 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 Get the fuck out of here. We need to make this deal, Abby. Fuck. We need to make this deal, Abby. When should we come back? I'll call you. Get out. Get us out of here, I don't have that kind of time. I want to be more specific. Right. Who did they kill? Se llamaba Max. And he works for Ramiro, Pedro's father. Would you want Pedro to me up? Why would he do that? I don't know. Why would Pedro rock his own father? I already told you also we weren't stealing the money. <laughs> the plan was to borrow it, flip the product, put it back before Ramiro ever knew it was missing. We said if you pull this off, we bring you on full time. And even though you fucked up, I fucked up. That offer still stands. I fucked up, you see. Also, I'm gonna give you access to everything. Our suppliers, our stashes, our product. Oh, he wanna get in the game. Pero necesito ese dinero. You betray your own family for money. Two months, you can buy this place. Let anyone you want train for free. You'll be a hero. Had a good time. Go away. Frankly. Frankly. What? Why you actually did it? Screw it on you now. Screw it on you, mother. I can see you in some shit right now. So it's all good. I just take a couple keys and go. You want more? You know how it works. I do good, I get more opportunity. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to need you to do something for me first. Okay. So if you get pulled over, 
Oh, he's taking him to the hospital. Use that silver tongue of yours. All right? Now, whatever happens, whatever happens. This ain't going to end well. Police in this house, do you understand? Driving that? A black man? I'm giving you a wondrous responsibility here. The chance to save a life. Don't fuck it up. Oh my God! He gonna drop on the pavement. He gonna leave my side. Yeah, that's what's up. I don't blame him. He remind me of Lalo. Hey, hey! I had him under control until you showed up. Things between Logan and I were working because he trusted me. Okay. Stop lying to me. What is this? I don't know what this the is. woman's earring. But there was blood all over that house. And then I found this. And blonde hair. So, yeah, I'm thinking... He killed them women. Maybe Logan was with a girl. <laughs> he killed or them women. When he OD'd. Somebody panicked. Maybe they wanted to call an ambulance or something. And you did what you thought you had to do to salvage the op. You think I killed some girl? In my head? No, no, no. Yes, it is. And you need to get control of yourself. Because the Mexicans are coming to the house at 10. So either show up, come in clear, ready to make a deal, or stay away. I get more than 24 hours this time? Don't push it. Just out of curiosity, who'd you find to take off that kilo off your hand? My fairy godmother. <laughs> Smart ass kid. <laughs> He do need a better place to put that money. I mean, what if he do have an accident? He got a brick of coat in a backpack. Look at my boy. Oh, he must be mad about picking Franklin up. You know what I'm saying? What's up, my Louie? Hey. You testing my patience, boy. I'll shoot whoop your ass for getting her involved with this shit. He ain't putting no gun to my head. It won't happen again. And I ain't even hearing all that. Brought a bike. I can't leave it at my place. You, you can't, can't leave it there. <laughs> you see the message you bring up in my house? Had my shit on lock, man. Jerome, out of pocket bitches screaming on the front porch. Who really bringing the mess here? Bitch, who is you? Who am I? Oh, damn. Huh? Who are you popping up in your face? You need to calm down. No, I ain't calm yeah. nothing down. I'm supposed to help her move somebody. Hey, I'll hold this for me. I want her to see my face. Y'all oh, yeah? Oh, I don't know. What's what you're doing? Chilling. You was gonna stand me up? Ah, I was just about to come over. Well, come on then. You put it in behind. Where's Louie? She in the room. She ain't feeling too good. I was sick because you got that motorcycle. Don't you know that thing is death on two wheels? Yeah, I just love him too much. You just love trouble too much. Tell her I brought a dish back. Come on, Franklin. Yo, Jerome is straight alpha. This dude is straight alpha, man. You know, he could have threw him under the bus. He could have threw him under the bus bad. He could have just messed his whole game up right then. Like, destroyed him. Let's just be foul. He brought drama to the house, banging another chick. You know what I'm saying? But she did say you should have had me involved when you banged her. You know? So she was okay with it. What do you think you're doing? Open that grate right there. Reach in. And tell me what you find. For real? Mm-hmm. There's not be no rat trap up in here. No, oh, there isn't. The hell? 
you snake? Yeah, hey, ma. Chicken milk bone. Milk and raw chicken left in the heating duct. Sit there long enough, it'll be damn near toxic. Ain't that right, Miss Perkins? Yeah, what? About that. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Okay, look. Look, look. I have experienced so much in my life. Everything, okay? I am not a rookie. I am not a youngster. I have almost done it all, okay? But I have never in my life heard of milk and raw meat in a bottle and letting it rot in a vent. What do that do? Is it some type of drug? I'm lost. I need help. Help me understand. what What is that? I never heard of that until this show. Milk and raw meat in a bottle. What is that? I'm lost. Sissy. I wasn't expecting you. Hey, Franklin, what a nice surprise. Good to see you, son. So, um, how's it going here? Uh, we're just about done, sir. Uh, right. Yo! Right. Let your little house nigga finish doing Yo. dirty for you. Hey, I think it's time you went ahead and got going, ma'am. All these years, people been calling you rich ass. Late, bad, he left the post. What the fuck? I didn't come here to argue with you. Well, I'm show to see me thrown out. Well, I ain't Just going to harm no one. Go. Go. You go. shut up. I'm yeah. not talking to you. Go ahead. Call the sheriff. I'll get him. See how you got these people. Ma'am, you're trespassing. You the criminal here. Ronald, please. Let me handle this, okay? This show is a trip, man. This show is a trip. He hitting that. He hitting that. Franklin seen that. Wow. Had the money in the gas tank. God, mighty. Hey, it's McDonald. Yeah, I'm good. Yep, yeah, listen. Um, I'm looking for a warehouse space, a thousand square feet minimum, and an industrial area where trucks coming and going wouldn't draw too much attention, and if it's close to Hawthorne, that would be ideal. No, I don't, I don't give a shit about that. I do need an outside line, though. Woman had an arm on it, too. I thought she was going to put it right through Tell's window. Yeah, I wish she had. Hey, man signs my check. Show some respect. Not your way of asking to be excused? May I be excused? Oh. You mean stop leaving your things all over the place, please? Oh, Woohoo! Thank you. Woo! Any... Oh, oh, come on, Franklin. The kitchen's only two steps away, man. What you got in that bag? Nothing. Hoodie, Henry Ford book, bunch of stuff. It's all pops last night. Where? On Western. Yeah, eh? Tough to say. Thanks for the place. Who is this? Lucia Villanueva. Are you gonna act like an asshole and be difficult to deal with? Uh, well, no, I mean, I hadn't planned on it. Then you have nothing to be sorry for. <clears throat> Can we get on with this deal? Two weeks. You'll be ready to purchase another 25 keys? No problem. We'll be in contact then. I know that she can pay, but she's all that I care about. Okay, I, uh, I found us a new stash house. It's closer to Hawthorne, so that's where we're going to do business from now on. Count that. I'll be back with the other half soon. Oh, 
Wait, wait, wait. You're going to office? Alone? Pásale. Cierra la puerta. Señoras, por favor, desnúdense. La ropa. They got like a whole drug operation going on. Yeah. Like Gus. 880 ounces, 25,000 grams. Cut modestly, still purer than anything coming over the border. And at $100 a gram, a better value as well. Dealers get 10%. Processors, 1,000 a day to buy silence and loyalty. Chunk goes to the church and other miscellaneous expenditures. Plastic bags, rubber bands, scales, cash counters, fuel, bribes for doormen, club managers, bartenders, concierges. Budgeted out at $10,000 a load. There will also be breakage, free samples, conservatively, another 50 to 100 grams per shipment. After all expenses, also those 25 kilos, could net us just under 2.1 million dollars. Don't want to do business with me. Look, I am a simple, reasonable man. I just want to do business with other simple, reasonable men. I'm a simple, reasonable man. Wait, you're a lunatic. I'm eccentric. You're paranoid. I'm cautious. So, if you're feeling nervous, what we do is we sit down and we talk things through, like adults, which I'd have been happy to do. But what you don't do is put a gun in my face and tell me you're going to shoot me unless I get naked. Mm. Well, I'm trying to apologize here, but you rub it in my face. Now, who's unreasonable? No, no, you haven't apologized. I'm sorry. I still don't trust you. So, um, it's like sneaking out every night now, huh? <laughs> Daddy's working the night shift, and you welcome She is to hot in the ass. Out if you want. Uh, don't he check on you sometimes? Sometimes. Then I'm good. You really scared of your ass. <laughs> Hell yeah. You think I'm a fool? That I don't see things? I don't know what you think you see, but I ain't slinging no way. <laughs> oh, shit! What's wrong with you? What is that? Man, he need to do something about that. Where you kidding? Go home, man. Go Yo. Franklin? Go home. For real. Y saliste en un corte y incluye varios de ustedes aquí. Mi hijo tiene esta idea que fue Max que vino con un amigo. Y cuando se robaron todo, mató a Max y se fue. What the hell? Your father's lost his fucking mind. That's what I was trying to tell you. We just have to be patient. Okay? Start the coke business up. He's not gonna stop until he knows who did this. Can just wait around for him to kill us. Whoa, okay. So I didn't have the subtitles on. So I didn't know what he was talking about. I know he was pissed off. The father. So when he... Threw that guy in there, the dead guy in there. That was his brother, I guess. So they killed him when they sent Pedro in there to rob him. Let me tell you something about me, Franklin. I ain't about that powder. That is just a necessary experience that I provide, which makes my place so special. Of course. Get him 30,000. Uh, hold up, we said 16 per. Well, I thought we'd start with a nice round number first. I'm sure there's something we can offer you here that uh, will ensure that you leave here feeling taken care of. I'm afraid that right. Oh, you about that money, I know huh? she ain't trying to bribe him with yams. All right, then. Get him his money. Smart man. Smart man. How's your auntie? She's staying in tonight? I can't imagine she felt too welcome after last time. Well, she had that shit coming for days. Well, you also held a gun to my chin. Are you sensitive? I'm hoping this is the beginning of a long, fruitful business relationship, Claudia. I don't think it's too much to ask for the words. My fault followed by shit won't happen again. <laughs> <laughs> you sure?
showing you. You step in here, boy. He ain't showing me too proud to admit you was home. What the hell just happened? Everything all right? Yep. Why you just dump it out like that? Like, it's a shame you can't stick around. They need to be in the back. Bitches love the candy man. Yo, I ain't like I ain't like their whole vibe. Their whole vibe was off. You know what I'm saying? Hurry up, dude! Hey, who you with? Dude, leave! Are you slow, nigga? This shit seem like two. Johnny had to grow up faster than most. Cause daddy was gone and mom was breaking. Always second and close, scraping leftover food Taking care of the house, there was no time for playing Like the other kids at school Not a worry, not a clue About the pain that he'd been through And all the things he's had to do But Johnny still blames himself Wishes he could go back to the day That his daddy walked away Say something to make him stay Heartbreaking story All around the world Millions of voices Never to be heard Some get good fortune Others just get pain I guess it's all luck in the end I guess it's up to fade Jenny was a good girl She always did her best with a smile even though she felt depressed see 12 months ago the house caught fire while jenny was sleeping she made it out that night but burned her skin the wounds are still healing they say she was lucky to get away although she doesn't feel that today learning not to deal with the looks the constant itch the skin still healing Someone else, she doesn't see herself. Heartbreaking story, all around the world. Millions of voices, now parts of the earth. Some get good fortune, others just get pain. I guess it's all luck in the end. I guess it's up to fade. Yeah. 